Now this is a uh, auction that is in Rome, and uh, you notice here it says more black and polychrome. They went out of their way to make the Moorish statue, statue depicted as a black person because they wanted to be historically accurate. Of course, the Eurocentrists hate that, but nevertheless, that's the way it is. Here is another image of a more clearly a Negro. Notice his head is in the crown. That is the person that has the position of distinction, the Negro. Not the non-black Moors, but the black Moors. That's what the Eurocentrists are trying to steal. Notice the person who is wearing the crown. That is the Negro. This is on a crest as well. Okay. This is what the Eurocentrists are trying to hijack. This is what they don't want you to know. This is a uh, famous Orientalist painting. Notice the people that are leading the pack. These two gentlemen right here, two Negroes. Black as ink is what they were often referred to by the, those who they conquered. Here is a uh, famous building in Europe as well. It has a moor on the window in a position of honor. It is called a moorhead. These are all over Europe where I lived for over four years. This is another crest. This is the Pope Benedict. Okay, here you have it, the Negro moor. There it is again, and take a look at this. This is the Pope himself sitting under the crest, depicting the Moor wearing the crown. Stop listening to the Eurocentrist lies that if there were black Moors, they were slaves. No, who's wearing the crown? This Negro. There you have it again. That's because, for the most part, the only people that are, that are afraid of the truth are those who are Eurocentrist. Here's another famous painting, and it's called Portrait of a Young Arab. So yes, I can show you the images of Berbers, I can show you the images of Moors, and I can show you the image of Arabs as well, who look like this gentleman here, Negroes. I didn't make up the name. I'm going to show you something else. This is a very famous and very valuable painting. Who painted it? Not some Eurocentrist, not Jesse Jackson or Al Sharpton. This was painted by Rembrandt. It's a very famous painting and it's very valuable. The name of this painting is The Two Moors. These two Negroes. The Two Moors. That's the name of the painting. Look it up for yourself before you look like a complete uneducated idiot. And here you have it again. This is the Sardegna crest. This is the actual depiction of it. Again with the crowns and the four Negroes wearing the headbands. And here you have it again in Sardinia. The four Moors heads on a bottle of beer. The four Negroes. And there it is again. It is all over the place. I would suggest for anyone interested in the truth, if you're really truly interested in the truth, take a trip to Europe. Take a look for yourself. A picture's worth a thousand words. And pictures. A thousand pictures should overcome a million lies. Here it is. You cannot get around it. Yorkshire Moors family crest. There you have it again. Look at these black moors. This is the legacy, this is the history that the Eurocentrists are so desperately trying once again to Shanghai and steal and claim as their own even though historically the moors were often referred to as black as ink. The evidence is overwhelming. They presume that people are not going to read, they're not going to do their own research, and they're going to believe their lies. Again, that's a painting by Rembrandt called The Two Moors. There it is. There's just no way to get around it. The truth is hidden in plain sight. They want to deny the obvious. This is a famous building in Europe as well. They're just hoping that you will believe their lies yet again. Lies they've been telling for so many years, crest of Coburg, Germany. And not see the truth, which is hidden, again, in plain sight for all of the world to see. The Eurocentrists have not been able to effect effectively um, do anything to these images, too. These are modern Berbers, by the way. They want to tell you that uh, Berbers are white as well. Yes, there are white Berbers. They don't want you to know about the black Berbers. When whites in Europe want to portray Moors, they paint their faces black. That's